Good morning guys, today we're looking at uh, equations and formula, but simultaneous equations. So first of all, I guess the question is, um, what actually is a simultaneous equation? Um, we've previously just done linear equations and simultaneous are, are relatively similar except for one slight issue. Um, you might have a question like this, it might be, um, you know, y equals x plus 4. Now what's the problem with trying to solve this equation? Now with a linear equation, you just simply had x plus 4 equals 7, and you could take the 4 away and you knew that x was equal to 3. But the major issue with this style of question, you have what we call two variables. Okay, and on their own, there's no way we could solve that. Because, for example, let's say y equaled 5, then you'd have x would have to equal 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. But y could equal 10, which means x could equal 6 plus 4 is 10. See how there's going to be an infinite, infinite amount of uh, answers, the possible answers that you're going to have there. So on its own, we can't actually solve this. So what's going to happen, you're going to get questions like this, um, and then you're going to get a second equation, um, possibly like this. Um, let's say that. And you're going to be asked to solve to find out what the common x and common y coordinate is. Now, if we go back to like year 9 and 10, what we're actually doing, and by no means is this a translation of these two graphs, but what you're actually doing, you're kind of graphing two straight lines and you're finding the point of intersection, okay, or the common x coordinate and the common y coordinate. So that's the whole kind of idea of simultaneous equations. Um, and I guess what, for us, we need to know how to solve it. Um, what you can look at, if I just look to the right hand side of the screen there, where you've got our equations editor, if we go into that um, and we come into it, those F1, F2 and F3, what you'll now recognize is we have the F1, which is simultaneous, okay? So that's obviously the, uh, the function that we're going to be looking at, or the mode that we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to um, press F1 for simultaneous equations. And notice how it's asking you how many um, unknowns that you have. Well, for our purposes in Math Studies SL, we're going to be looking at two unknowns, an X and a Y, or an A and a B, etc. Now, this is the next little trick with this. Um, you won't really see it in the next question. But what you're going to find, right, is that it has this form AX plus BY equals C. Okay, I'm just going to uh, close that off. I'm going to go up here. So they've got this um, AX plus BY equals C. Now where your A, B, and C are kind of integers, right? So the A is the number in front of the X. So let's say, for example, we had 2x plus y equals 10. So in this case, the a would be 2, the y would be 1, because you've got one of them, and the 10 would be positive 10. Okay? If I had, um, you know, let's say y minus 2x equals 7, okay, see how I've rearranged those. And so what you'd have to make sure is that you know that the x is negative 2, the y is positive 1, and the 7 is the c. But what it's probably better to do is to actually rewrite it um, like that so you can clearly see it. Okay, we'll look at a few questions and we'll see where that kind of um, becomes important. Okay, what is not a bad idea, sorry, is to have a quick crack at this question if you feel confident, put it into your calculator, press solve, and come up with your values for x and y. Alright, so how did you go? So first of all, I can see that my first x value is 1. So I'm going to put 1, enter. Then the next one is also 1. And then the c value is equal to 7. Then my next line, we've got 3 in front of the x. We've got a 1 in front of the y. And we've got a 19 for that c value. Okay. Obviously, it hasn't calculated the responses, so I've just got a 19. It's my last answer there. We must press solve. Okay, so what, once I've done that, what you can see, it's already calculated for us the solutions 
x equals 6 and y equals 1. Or you could write the solution as um, x comma y, which would be that point of intersection that we kind of mentioned earlier on. Um, but certainly that is what we'd be looking for um, in the IB. Um, again, it's important to make sure it's x, y, and then equals your number. That's absolutely imperative. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. 3x plus y equals 5, and y equals 2x plus 1. Well, certainly the first one is in the form of x plus y equals c. Apologies, it's been happening a bit today. Um, x plus y equals c, all right? So the first one's okay. So we know that when we go through, we can enter the information. The problem is the second one. So you've got two options. And look, to be honest, the easiest is just to take the 2x across the left-hand side. That's currently a plus 2x. So we can just say minus 2x plus y equals 1. Um, now, when we used to do this by hand, we would never want to have a negative in front of the x. So what we would have done, we would have taken the y to the right-hand side and the number to the left-hand side, and we would now would have had um, 2x minus y equals negative 1. It doesn't matter which of those solutions you use. In fact, I'm going to show you both of them now. Okay, so go. let's go back to our calculator and press exit. I'm going to type in, so the top one, 3, 1, and 5. The bottom one in green here will be negative 2. It will be positive 1, and it will be equaling to 1. I'm going to now press my solve, and we come up with, now we've got some options again here for our, for our answer. So for our solution, what we can write as, we can write x equals 0 0.8 and x equals 2.6. Alternatively, what you could do is write that fraction form down, 4 over 5. So we could write 4 over 5 like that okay and then what I can do is I can go and scroll down to 2.6 like you can see and see how it's got now 13 over 5 um, some people also like to have a normal scientific calculator to enter those in very quickly and put the fraction form now just before I move on to the last question for us what I want to do is just show you that if I had used the other version okay the 2 the negative 1 and then the negative 1 and press solve see how the answers haven't changed so it doesn't actually matter which way you put it as long as you have the x the y and the number <clears throat> like you've seen there okay let's have a look at the last question now please uh, pause it have a crack at this question see how you go all right so how would you find this one okay so remember we need to have um, x plus y equals a number all right x plus y equals a number um, if you want to write that down even like that that's okay um, theoretically you should have an a and a b in front of it but no, I don't really mind too much um, so the first one we want to have x minus y equals negative 5 and then the second one I want to have negative 2x plus 5y and then equals 50. So again, you can see I've got my x first, then the y, and then the number. It just makes the process so much easier. When I go back to my calculator, I'm going to press exit. I'm going to type in 1 for the x, negative 1 for the y, negative 5. You can even put those numbers onto your working if you wish. Negative 2, positive 5, and we have 50 to finish off with. I press equals. We're now going to solve it. Okay, so what we come up with as our solutions, as x equals, uh, we can either put 8.3 recurring, um, or probably more preferable is 25 over 3, and then y equals 13.3 recurring, or probably preferable, you could have 40 over 3. Of course, you could put those as mixed numerals. Okay, that's going to work fine. So um, I think that's going to be like 13 and 1 third, and, and that will be something like um, 8 and 1 third. Uh, 
what did I say? I said that was 13 and one third. So you could say those ones as well. But to be honest, for me, um, the one I kind of like, I like that one. That's fine as a solution, okay? All right, guys, that is simultaneous equations. Um, although I just noticed <laughs> that should be a Q and that should be a U. Um, you probably picked that up already. Have a great day, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lesson on um, applied questions. That's going to be the trickier part. So turning the words or the literacy sentences into those uh, mathematical sort of questions. So please look at the next episode because that's the one that you're going to see most likely in your IB exams. Have a great day, guys. That is Simultaneous Equations Introduction with the Graphics Calculator for the IB Math Studies SL course.